Hey, hey, y'all, it's Tia Boo. Um, this is a quick tutorial. I'm gonna try to make it quick. I always say that. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to make it quick. Uh, so I decided to do it in red, and I absolutely love the turnout. I love red, so I was excited to try it with this color. So I'm gonna start with a white background. I did use a More Us white gel polish. Um, I purchased that from Nail, Nail, Glamour, Nail Glamour Supply. Um, two coats of that in a matte top coat. Again, I always love starting my art on a matte surface. You get the best results that way because it, if you do it on a shiny surface, it tends to bleed and you don't want that, obviously. So you always want to start off with a matte surface. Um, I'm also going to use uh, Beetle's Gel Polish. This came in a, uh, a pack, a pack of six. So I just put some of that on a palette. I'm also using, I believe this is a seven millimeter uh, brush by Beetles as well. I'm, now with now the key, the key with this is is that it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because back in the day, you know, when they would do the when they would do the artwork, it wasn't super perfect. You don't want to make it sloppy either. You want it to make it neat. You want to you want to make sure it's neat, but it's not. It doesn't have to be perfect. And since I am using a little bit longer brush compared to the, the five, um, I do do a quick, like a quick line, line work. And then, now if it looks, if it looks like that, it's okay. It's completely okay go back over it anyway y'all y'all do not know how careful I'm being right now because with my baby being on my lap she's kicking me She just kicked me. <laughs> this is the life of Tia Boo. This is the life of Tia Boo right now. Having to do tutorials with a five week old on my lap. It's either that or for screaming in the background and we don't want that. So I'm gonna include both regular hearts and I'm gonna I'm just gonna do one one double heart here. Cause I really love the I love the way those look they're so cute. Mm, we can since we have that one angle we can Again, your hearts don't have to be super duper perfect because they weren't like this back in the day. And if you go to fairs and stuff like that, they still do airbrushing and you'll you'll notice that they're still not super duper perfect. They're kind of like elongated and curvy and things like that. So don't worry if you, you know, see how like here, don't worry if you don't connect it all the way or connect it evenly rather. sure I'm in the camera. I do have a new phone mount and it is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to go over these and then 
we will pop them in the oven for I believe we'll do we'll do 30 seconds yeah we're gonna pop it in in the oven for about 30 seconds but first let's go ahead and continue Okay, so we have our hearts drawn, sparkles drawn. Now is the highlight or the bleeding look. This is the most that I got the, this is, that's the part that I have the most questions about. So what you wanna do is grab your matte top coat. I have not tried it with a glossy one, so I'm just gonna go with, with matte. Uh, and I did mix it. I mixed it with the red gel polish. So you want to mix it and make sure that it comes out to a like an opaque, opaque hue. Okay. After that, you want to go ahead and highlight your heart, both internally and externally. That way, the whole thing has that. or the bleeding look rather. This too doesn't have to be super perfect, but again, you don't want it to be sloppy. You still want to have your work neat. It just doesn't have to be perfect. That makes sense. I'm gonna go over this heart, then I'll go over a sparkle, and then I'll speed up the video. Then we can just get through this, get through the tutorial. So, that's how one heart looks, and then you wanna go ahead and do one of your sparkles here. If you want, you can just do one side like that. I wanna do the whole thing, so I do one side and I go under. Like it's a shadow. I don't go, I don't have like the whole thing if that makes sense. I don't do this other side. Whatever side you do, you don't want to do the other one. You can if you want, but I, I don't. In the oven for a full 60 seconds, you want to make sure that it's cured all the way because then that's when you're going to come back in and add your highlights. So you want to make sure that your, uh, you're going to add your white highlights. So you want to make sure that your design is completely cured. That way, in case you do mess up on a highlight, you're able to kind of wipe it off. But that, that's what I ended up doing on one of the hearts. So finish your highlighting, popping it up for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that we have the bleeding look completed, I'm gonna go to adding the highlights. I use Eye Gel Beauty's uh, white gel paint. It does come in a pack, it has multiple colors in it. 
and I absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. I don't know if they still have their sale going on. Probably so. They've been having the same sale for almost a year now. <laughs> Since the pandemic started, they've been having a crazy sale. So I definitely went and took advantage of that. And I absolutely love it. So we want to dip our brush into that. You don't need a lot of paint for this. Um, if you do have a 5mm or small, I recommend using that. You can use a 7 if you like, like I am. But if you if you know that you struggle with small strokes, I recommend going with a smaller brush. Either go with a smaller brush or take your time. Like, go super duper slow. Okay. So, it doesn't really matter how you highlight... Um, you don't want to highlight the whole heart. Okay, and then for my sparkles, I just add dots. You can't highlight the whole line if you want, but I think it's a little bit much for just those. I recommend just sticking to the lines with the hearts. opposite of each heart you don't want all your hearts to have the same kind of highlight that for the full 60 seconds as well because after this you're going to top coat it so you want to make sure all of your hearts all of your design is completely cured before top coating pop that in the oven for 60 seconds all right so now that your design is completely cured you want to go ahead and add your matte top coat I am using today Nail Supplies Glamorous Male Gel, or Matte Gel. Absolutely love their top coats. Love, love, love their top coats. Now you can leave this look shiny if you want, but it doesn't give you the same effect. If you're wanting an authentic 90s airbrush t-shirt or your hat <laughs> hat look. Okay, so that's how it looks shiny. It's okay. I love it when it's matte. Pop it in the oven for 60 seconds and then you're done. 